This is such an interesting setup for me. I've had a ton of house projects going on. So anyways, naturally when I'm stressed out, I like to shop and with Black Friday having just happened, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite buys from YesStyle because YesStyle is actually extending their sale for my viewers exclusively. I worked with YesStyle in the past before, so they gave me a discount code with a no minimum order, 20% off. So I'm gonna put it up here on screen as well as in the description box below. Definitely take advantage of this deal. It's for 48 hours only, so it's for my viewers that are pretty good about watching my videos when they go up live. And yeah, the items that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are not only my favorites from YesStyle, but products that I find end up in my cart every single time I place an order from YesStyle. I literally order from YesStyle every single month. It's basically where I get most of my Korean and Asian beauty products. Without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Bust you, tiger. <laughs> So let's go ahead and start off with the first category of items that always end up in my cart when I shop on YesStyle and that is eyebrow products. I burn through eyebrow products. I don't know if I'm heavy handed with how I feel in my eyebrows or if that's normal. I feel like it's normal, but I always throw a couple eyebrow products in my cart. They have a couple affordable options as well as like more high end options, but honestly the affordable ones are the ones that I find I gravitate towards the most. The ones that I've really been enjoying, I've been enjoying for quite some time. These are from Pony Effect, and these are the Sharpening Brow Definer. I get two shades, natural brown and dark brown. It just depends on my makeup look. Right now I'm wearing natural brown. Another brand that I really like their eyebrow products is of course Etude House. I've raved about Etude House eyebrow products for years, so this comes as no surprise to you guys who are familiar with my channel. And then of course, on the more affordable side, we have the McQueen My Strong Eyebrow Pencil. This is one you have to sharpen. One thing I really appreciate about Korean beauty brands recently is they are launching a lot of different eyebrow gels, which are really good for kind of the laminated look. Kind of similar to the look I have on my brows right now, where they're just kind of brushed up and bushier looking. And this, you guys, is like a holy grail product for me. This is from Unleashia, and this is the Shaper Pomade Eyebrow Fixer. I have it in clear, and it literally holds my eyebrow hairs perfectly. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky, or doesn't crumble off the brows if you apply too much. This honestly is the one of the best eyebrow products I've ever tried. I've tried Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I've tried the a lot of Western brands, and this one honestly I think is better. If you guys are looking for a really good brow gel, definitely check this out. Another category of products that I typically burn through because I have very sensitive eyes, so I like to keep this part of my makeup routine very clean is eyeliners and I am a brush liner girl. I just find them easy and convenient. And so again, just to share with you guys some of the ones that I have picked up recently, I got the Natural Fix Brush Pen Liner. This is from Misha. I've not tried this one yet, but I, you know, pretty, <laughs> I do like to try different brush liners and see if I can find better ones. We all know that I love my Cleo Kill liner, but yeah, this was a new one I'm trying. The Etude House One All Day Fix Pen Liner is an oldie but goodie, just a very good basic black pen liner. And then I also got this one from Black Rouge. Black Rouge is a affordable Korean beauty brand, and this is the Keep Your Line liner. So just a couple, like I said, these literally all came in my last, last yes style order. So I buy multiples at a time because I always burn through these. Another eye product that I always get a refill of because I wear these a ton is my lash glue. And this is actually one of the most popular lash glues in Japan. It's called D Up Eyelash Fixer EX. This is like one of those long standing favorite. And I really like this because this is a very nice eyelash glue. It holds my lashes, it comes off, you know, not too easily, but it doesn't like rip out my eyelashes as I'm removing this, and I just really like it. It doesn't make my eyes feel itchy or sensitive or anything like that. So I always get a fresh tube because like I said, I like to keep things clean, and we know when it comes to eyelash glue, once you apply it on a strip lash and then you use it and then you take that off and reuse that strip lash, you double dip. So it's nice to get fresh ones of these. Speaking of lash glue, another thing that I always find falls into my cart when I place my Yes Style order, Mish Blumen Lashes. They have the most variety that I've seen for Mish Blumen. They keep up with the new launches, and I always like to try different 
versions of Niche Bloom and Lashes. I've used them for years and they're my favorite for like Asian shaped eyes, which I have. They stick really nicely. They're shaped too like an Asian eye shape and they also have clear lash bands so you don't see them they blend in seamlessly they're lightweight and comfortable i've had people compliment me and my eyelashes thinking that they're real because they can't see the lash band and i'm like niche blooming now when it comes to skincare products that i always put in my yes style shopping cart sunscreen or sun protection and again i do like to try out different ones because i feel like a lot of the Sun essences or sun creams or sunscreens have been talked about a lot, so I just like to expand my horizon. Recently, I've been really into the Beauty of Joe Sun. This is the Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics. It has an SPF 50 plus, PA quadruple plus, and this one goes on really nicely. One that I really loved is the Etude House Sun Junk by Directors, the Moisture Sun Cream. Also has an SPF 50 plus, PA quadruple plus. This is my second tube and I'm already like halfway through this. And my dry skin really likes this. And then this was a newer find for me. This from Bar, the Centella Asiatica Extract. The Centella Soothing Sun Essence, same thing. SPF 50 plus, PA quadruple plus, and it has the UVA UVB protection. None of these have the white cast and they go on really lightweight. So this one I find does that as well. And it also has like a little tear me tab here. So once you get down to the bottom, you can actually Open it up if you're that type to scoop your products out when you're close to the end, so I find that very handy. Another skincare category that I always find myself purchasing from YesStyle and throwing in my cart every time I place an order are barrier creams, basically anything that helps my skin barrier. I have very dry, sensitive skin, and so I'm constantly moisturizing my skin. So I tend to gravitate towards sensitive, skin-friendly formulations. And I have all these book goodies that I've used for a while, such as the Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Um, this one's a really nice moisturizing cream, a little bit on the thicker side. But I also do branch out a little bit and try newer moisturizers that I haven't. This one's a new one that I haven't tried yet from Perito, and this is the Oat In Calming Gel Cream. I thought this might be really nice for day time use so since I have dry skin and I'm constantly slathering my skin in moisturizers I do go through these quickly so I do have multiple moisturizers I'm using in you know morning time night time during the day if I feel like it if I'm not wearing makeup so that's another one that I picked up and Purell this is the intensive moisture cream I really like this brand a lot in fact I have been using their shampoo and conditioner because I've discovered I also have a very sensitive scalp and so it's non-fragranced and I will go ahead and link them down below but I didn't just buy them and I'm not restocking on them because they're big bottles so they last me a while. But also products that I've picked up from YesStyle that I really like and I have been trying out sensitive skin hair products. And I have not found any that I've liked except for the ones from Curel. The last category I'm gonna be talking about is kind of broad, but I like this section on YesStyle because there's so many things to look at. I go through different phases with my nails. You guys know I went through like a nail sticker phase, got those from YesStyle. I went through like a stick on nail phase, got them from YesStyle. Glue on nail phase, got those from YesStyle, and now I'm really into gel builder, gel X, gel nails in general, gel extensions, which is what these are. And so a brand that I've been picking up from YesStyle that I've really been enjoying is this 0121. It's made in Taiwan and I have the whole line from them. So I picked up the base, the gel builder and the gel top coat and then I get all my colors from this brand as well so that's what I've been using to kind of like build my nails and then on top of that another thing that I really like to look at on yes style right now since I'm doing like gel building and you know encapsulating my nails sometimes are like fun little nail art things they have so many things on yes style and they're so affordable that honestly I throw in like $30 worth of stuff and I get so many little things that I am excited to try. I just got all these in my last order. So, you know, they've got like little, <laughs> I don't even know what to call them. They're like little decals. This one's like got white and gold flecks in it. I got this really pretty one that's like blue glitter flakes, kind of reflective. I got this one that's like little star rhinestones. I also like to get stickers that like just go on my gel nail. So I got these really cute butterfly ones 
and they're from a brand called Joyful Nail. Like that I can experiment with all these different fun nail things and Yes Style has just like so many different things to pick from. Like I can continue scrolling through there for hours. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys know, like I said, that I pick up a lot of things from Yes Style. So I wanted to share with you guys things that always end up in my car, things that I restock, things that I look at, things that I go through a lot of, and share with you guys some of the favorites or products that I've been trying out recently. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and put my discount code in the description box below as well as here on screen in case you guys want to stock up on your favorites or try new things out. I will try to keep you posted on all of my renovation stuff. I'm actually working on some content for my second channel, which is like my booktube slash lifestyle channel. So I've been reading some books and also kind of vlogging some of the progress that's been going on around here because that makes more sense over on that side of YouTube. But yeah, it's just been a very hectic time in my life. We bought our home. I got married. <laughs> it's been the holidays. I've been doing home renovations, so been a lot of fun but it's been a lot of work so <laughs> anyways as always i hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate comment subscribe share with your friends and family hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys